What is it that makes the winds so hot? I mean, whether they blow in October or, or December, they always seem to heat up the weather. The key point is atmospheric pressure, and to for a very large degree, atmospheric pressure at any point represents the weight of the air that is overlying you. Okay? And also keep in mind that air is very compressible. So that means that pressure decreases with height or pressure increases downward towards the ground because when you're at the ground, the entire atmosphere is above you. Okay? Now, if you grab a piece of air from a couple of miles above the ground and you start to drag it down, that piece of air is experiencing greater pressure pushing on it. So that's going to make the air compress and that will make the air heat up. Okay, so actually if you take a piece of air and you move it down one mile, which is roughly from like the top of the San Jacinto Mountains down to sea level, that air will heat up by 30 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's very, that's tremendous. So if you can bring that air down a mile and a half, you've increased it by 45 degrees Fahrenheit. So the air could actually start off as pretty cold in the Great Basin, but by the time you brought it down that particular distance, it could be actually warm. If you start in October where the air is cool and not cold, then by the time you bring it down the sea level, it can be hotter than heck.